The American actress Vera Farmiga, probably best known for her Oscar-nominated role opposite George Clooney in Up in the Air, has made a big leap forward in her career. She's directed the film for the first time in which she also stars. And what's more, she shot it when she was five months pregnant. It tells the story of a woman who begins to question the certainty of her faith. God wants us to come to him with all our needs and all our desires. Sister, thank you. That's you what it says in Hebrews, right? Thank you. Vera Farmiga plays Corrine. She lives with others in a tightly knit religious community. Little by little, she finds that she doesn't share their certainty when it comes to faith in God. Lord, help me. Because I can't feel you. I feel nothing. She is asking, can faith and doubt coexist? It resonated with my own search. I'm a thoughtful, seeking, struggling <laughs> human being, aren't we all? And I, I, I just, I, I, the subject matter is rare, and cer certainly sometimes I think it's just a matter of being inspired or not. And, and, and I felt in many ways my spirit was pried open with the subject matter. Ah! The Lord has been trying to hook for a long time. The film provides a vision of a religious woman you don't often see in American cinema. She has an inquiring mind. She's intelligent, compassionate, trying to understand her relationship with God. She doesn't conform to any stereotype. It's nonsensical. It's probably voodoo. It settles things in your spirit. I want it. The film itself doesn't have a simplistic religious agenda. I'm not trying to convert <laughs> or unconvert. I'm just saying, look at this concept of God. Look at this struggle to you know, to conceptualize God. You know, what does holiness mean to you? What does it mean to be holy? What does it mean to you to have a well-equipped spirit or soul? You know, what does that mean? Look, look at the film, project accordingly, but to judge it is like, my, my, my only concern as a director, as an actress, is to evoke thoughts. Come on, Holy Spirit, just wash down on me, Lord. Just come in thy strength and thy power. Get thee behind me. Although dealing with weighty philosophical matters, the film is at times humorous, but the aim wasn't to poke fun at aspects of religious practice. It's saying, look at us humans, aren't we a quirky lot in our, in our striving to, to connect with God, whatever that concept means to you. And that's a really endearing. To me, I'm, when I certainly see it, I'm not, I'm not laughing at her saying, look, what an imbecile this woman is. I'm saying that yearning, that's, is, 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 that's, it's, it's magical. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart, right? In production terms, Higher Ground is a modest endeavor. It's a serious exploration of faith that probably won't reach beyond art house cinemas. It's a picture that exists within the world of American independent film. Why do you think it is that Hollywood has been so reluctant to deal with the subject of faith in, in, in studio movies? Because it's hard to market films like this. That's why. I think people are hungry. To, I think it's important in, in these times of religious wars and holy wars where, you know, people have very strong concepts. I mean, there's so many religious passionate, passionate religious movements. And I think the next step is to respect people's concepts of God. I mean, I, I think it's, it's difficult to market a film like this. I think that's Hollywood's challenge. <laughs> so this is a real a word of mouth kind of a film. Higher Ground has been getting excellent reviews. Critics have praised its humor, thoughtfulness, lack of condescension. All in all, it's being seen as a very assured directing debut from Vera Farmiga.